And indeed, you can have another look at the distributions of temperature, salinity, and dissolved oxygen in the Atlantic Ocean. I discussed this before in the in the previous lecture. Okay, let's let's have have another look. Okay, what can you see in the temperature and the salinity distributions? There's Labrador seawater and Greenland seawater can actually be distinguished. Okay, the Greenland seawater is a little bit heavier, and you find it deeper. In the in the in the ocean, Labrador Sea LS here is a little bit shallower. It's a little bit lighter. Okay, both are called North Atlantic deep water, and both uh, uh, propagate and spread through the oceans. Okay, indeed, you can identify Antarctic bottom water, and that's most easily identified because you can just look at the near bottom water and follow the temperature temperature trace. Okay. Zero degrees Celsius, one degree, two degree Celsius near the bottom. You can see the link to the Antarctic region, a link to the surface. You can also see in the bottom picture there the relatively high oxygen, dissolved oxygen distributions. You can also see the salinity signature of that. Okay, and you get an idea of actually that this water also fills the deep basins. The black uh, structures there are. It shows you that you cut across. Uh, deep sea basins, you know, and you can you can see that the Antarctic water fills these deep sea basins, and the and the uh, North Atlantic water is not affected through these any uh, bathymetric barriers. Okay, and by the way, you can also see the 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 uh, water that comes from the Mediterranean Sea at the end is also um, indicated here. You just cut through this outflow, but anyway. Okay, so this is this is the link again to the how you can actually identify the waters, the movement, looking at temperature and salinity uh, um, anomalies in the ocean.